You're not doomed, you know, to repeat the same mistakes like you're in some eternal loop. <laughs> Shows how well you know me. You've just made a big decision on impulse and it's sinking in, that's all it is. <sighs> I don't want to get this wrong again. Listen, this is just classic Carla panic. All right, Nick isn't Peter. Or any of the others, for that matter. He's as steady as a rock, which is what you want. And there's absolutely no way he's going to be pushed into something. He's too sensible for that. Anyway, you've got plenty of time to talk this through with him, haven't you? You've not even set a date yet. Yeah. Yeah, I might just do that. Mm. Wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? Grafty. Which is why I think I've seen Nick. Uh, not since I came to work, no. I can ask the other staff if they know where he is, if you're anxious about something. No, I'm all right. I, uh, <clears throat> just have a red wine, please. Sorry, I just had to run an errand. Right. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> look, I know we've done the proposal already, uh, but I just wanted to make doubly sure that this is happening. So I thought if I do it in public, there's no getting out of it. So, Carla Connor, will you take this ring as a token of our engagement. Get up, you silly pig. Well, not until you say yes. Well, mate, you said we did this yesterday. Oh, with the ring? Come on, my knee's killing me. Of course I'll say yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It fits. Oh, oh that's a good old man. <laughs> it's beautiful. Kiss the bride, then. <laughs> They're not married yet. I soon will be. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. gasps> Congratulations again. That enough happiness for you? Oh, that. Mm. <laughs> that you, DJ? Well, I could hardly refuse when he asked me, could I? Well, why would you want to? Oh, my gosh. We've been going out to me. He's known her for years. It's not the same thing. Well, look, neither of them are spring chickens. There's no point in hanging about at their age. Well, we'll see if she can make him happy. I mean, she's only in one piece because he dragged her back from the brink. Hey, oh, come on. I mean, if you look at her track record... Well, which of us can back about that? I certainly can't. And you haven't done too well in recent years. Gail, they're a nice couple. They're in love and they want to make it work. So put all this sniping aside. And once in your life, try and be happy for them. Hmm? So, have you planned your honeymoon yet? Ooh. Uh, well, give us a chance, Gran. We just got engaged. Oh, sorry. It's the hairdresser in me asking about holidays. <laughs> well, we'll probably go somewhere warm and quiet. You know, no mobile signal, no Wi Fi. Yeah, we don't want to be too cut off, do we? Yeah, we do. Uh, no, we don't. <clears throat> oh, are we going to have our first round about this? Yes, we are, if you don't back down, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my fault. I should keep my big mouth shut. <laughs> Right. Congratulations, bro. Thanks. Yeah. You dark arse, you. Yeah, I keep on. <laughs> well, where's the fun in life? You know, there's no surprises. Well, why don't you get yourself a drink? Yeah. All right, cheers. Um, can I have a word? Yeah, sure. I, I want to apologise if I've seemed less than enthusiastic about your engagement. It's completely out of order, and, and I'm sorry. I don't think it was that bad. Well, it's mean-spirited. I don't even know why I do it. So, I want to welcome you to our family, Carla. I hope you'll both be happy for many years to come. Thank you, Gail. I I'll say that really means a lot to me. Well, I'll, I'll not embarrass you any further. 
Enjoy the rest of your evening. Not for missed. Wouldn't believe it if I told you. What, 24 hours? Yeah, not in a hurry to do that again. Oh, but another party to come. Don't have to do it. Oh, no. I don't mind. I suppose we should decide where we're going to live. Well, that's easy. We uh, just live in one flat and we keep the other one for when we fall out, eh? We're not going to fall out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. You okay? Yeah, blasted deals. It's not the first wobble I've had today. Oh. No? Yeah, um, I don't know, Nick. I got into my head that you, that you got cold feet. You know, after the girl was all snitch with me and, um, well, I couldn't find you anywhere. You don't know running. I didn't take you for the paranoid time. It's still time to pull out, you know. Are you trying to put me in? I'm not the easiest of women, Nick. Well, then there'll never be a dull moment. Are you sure you're ready for that? Oh. Stop worrying. Nothing's going to go wrong. No. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs>